Greetings and salutations, folks. My name is Nick, and welcome back to Dead Space 1, where it seems at long last we have identified the problem. We have taken the marker off the planet. Taking the marker off of the planet was the problem. We should have left it there. And whatever was there on the planet, this hive mind creature... is what's destroying us up here. If we just returned the marker, made it whole again, everybody would be okay. Or at least that's what the narrative is saying so far. I know the fact that there exists a Dead Space 2 and 3, that doesn't quite work out in its entirety, uh, because as we know so far, even just even in Dead Space 1, there are more that there's more than one marker. There's at least two discovered so far, and if there's two, there's undoubtedly more than that. And the Unitologists are not just going to stop there. Mr. Clark, I'm approaching the shuttle hangar. You must, you must find your way to the cargo bay. The marker, it's being stored in there. There's a cargo loading lift there you can use to deliver the marker up to the hangar. Please, you must help me with this. It's the only way. All right, do I have any nodes anymore? I do not. I also... Actually, no, I have one node. But I also have no money, which is fine, because at the very least, I've got tons of items, and there's always Peng. I cannot forget the existence of Peng. Like, at least I could say Bonitica, the world you never know, looks like an island. Vacation, maybe a simulation, if that's level 8, section 3. Bring out the sun. That's, that's probably advertising agriculture. What's Peng ad advertising? Like, it gives the impression that it's like a dating service. Like, the way that it presents itself. Is that what Pang is? Oh, hello. Well, it's a good thing I didn't try to shoot at its explosive arm. as that would have been more problematic. Anybody in the bathroom? Any monsters need to evacuate their bowels within the bath? So no none of the bathrooms have been particularly dangerous in this game, which surprises me. Bathrooms in horror things are usually the worst places to be at all times. All right, let us carry on. Let's save our game, though. These creepy noises and the breathing sounds and moans, they will not hold us back. We are ready to take on the horde of them. Uh... Oh, hello. Can I shoot you from here? I mean, I suppose eventually. All right, let's take the elevator down. Don't want to keep these guys waiting forever. Ah, out. More line racks. 
I feel that means uh, I used my line racks well, considering I was instantly replenished. This also goes to show that Dead Space's brand of horror combat doesn't necessarily work in big, wide open areas. Like, look at this guy. Just slowly dragging himself down the corridor. He's got no rush to be anywhere. Let's see. Let's see if there are any items in the other four, the other two corners first, should I say? Please be careful with stasis. Yes. I would imagine it would be quite horrifying if you found yourself trapped uh, in, in time. I also really need to test out the Ripper Blades with actual enemies instead of bodies I found on the floor in the lobby. Alright, what have I filled up my inventory with to the brim? Alright, at the very least I can pick up those things, and with any luck, whatever fight is about to happen does help me clear out some of that inventory. Why, hello. Supposedly, there are more monsters. Anybody else? Yep, ah, I see you. Oh my. These that that's where these guys came from. Instead of the bloater essentially dropping off a bunch of the tiny bad guys. Like they're actually dropping off these children folks. Mm. Alright. What is the best? Like, maybe with a little bit of aim, I could maybe do this. Whoop, that wasn't even uh, properly loaded. Sir, can you please stop wiggling about? See you over there. Ah, I see. 
see also a whole bunch of you over here. All right. Still alive, sir. All right, let's use the contact gun, get rid of this. Even with my bad aim, I eventually got it done. Okay, let's make sure everything's reloaded. Any monsters show up all of a sudden because I moved it across the way? The cargo lift has arrived. The marker is in the hangar bay. Now you can load it into the shuttle. Hurry! <laughs> Okay, that was pretty cool. Okay. Are you all done? I think they're all done. Excellent. Yeah, the Ripper Blades definitely functioned pretty well. I'm not really too excited about the secondary fire, but the primary fire definitely seems like it's something that's reliable. Um, though definitely the line gun is the best. Um, let's see, where are we going next? Up? Back towards the store and up. Let us save our game because we are passing by a save point. I restored power to the elevator. Take it up to the hangar bay and get the marker on the shuttle. I'm heading up to the flight deck now. Oh god. I'm just gonna run for it. Wish me luck. Good luck. 
Anything for me to get rid of? A lot for me to get rid of. I don't need three stasis packs sitting in my inventory. I probably don't even need one, but I will keep it. Because I've been proved wrong by the stasis pack before. Do I even need a medium air can anymore? Probably not. But I've got a lot of plasma energy, and then of course a lot of line guns, but a line racks. But that's that's just a solid. Like I feel as though the line rack is the equivalent of the doom shotgun. Like it is that useful. Hold up. Does that go nowhere? It goes nowhere. All right. Another bathroom. I've got to say, the Ishimura is very well stocked with bathrooms. If you need to use the bathroom on the Ishimura, there's probably going to be one near you. You won't have to hold it for long. You will still become a horrible monstrosity, but at least you won't crap the bed while doing it. Oh look, it's a save point. Is it possible that they put maybe a few too many save points in this game and not enough just regular checkpoints? That's the issue with, uh, like, choosing save points over checkpoints. Is you actually have to make the physical save point in the game, you essentially... You have to uh, make the, the player stop to use them, as opposed to checkpoints, which are always there. But it's easier to reload old save points rather than checkpoints. See what I mean? It's it's just the the line gun is just way too useful. And how much ammo do I have left with it? I still have three stacks. I used to have five. Hmm. Still probably the best choice for that situation. And because of that, I did not need to actually use any health kits. So it, eventually there will be a point in which I'm just burning through health kits instead of having the tough, cool ammo. But that's okay. Excellent. I'm going to dock the shuttle. Got to be careful now. I'm bringing the shuttle down now. The automated loading controls aren't responding. You'll have to shut down gravity in the hangar bay, and then manually bring the marker directly beneath the shuttle. 
Great. All right. Only locked lockers in this section. They probably had something... Oh. They probably had something useful in them, like money and or cash. All right, where do I need to go? Oh, not particularly far off. This is not a maze I'm in. Even though I seem to be making it seem like I am in a maze. Ooh, more explosives down there. I presume there's going to be a little bit of a firefight, but then gravity is going to be off, Entering so. Zero gravity. And then we've got a couple lockers here. I'm sure the closer I get to the marker, that's when the enemies will spawn. And I will be in some degree of trouble. Ah. Yeah. Shall we use the contact gun? Or should I say, should I try to use the contact gun? closer towards me, or is it just these little guys? Contact gun, pretty good against them. Especially if you do not shoot the walls a whole bunch of times. Though I probably could have also picked up all those explosives and started throwing those around. But at the same time, it's like at that point, like when, when you got a whole bunch of guys start coming at you, then it's a little bit trickier to worry about grabbing things from the environment. At the very least, we're not in a vacuum, because that means I can at least hear the monsters when they emerge. That's always the tricky part when you're in the vacuum sections. Is you have the silence of space. So I need to move it beneath the ship. So I would imagine I have to pass by this particular
Okay, I'm not entirely sure why that was necessary. Okay, I hear them. But I do not see them. So let us proceed. Okay, there was a stinger there. A music stinger. Does that mean it's an announcement that bad guys? Yes. Hello, how are you? need more plasma energy at this point. Like, the plasma cutter is your go-to weapon for the longest time. But then eventually, like, the, con the confrontations you're up against don't really... Oh, nope. I don't need explosives right now, but thank you. Got him now. I can do that. Exiting zero gravity. Loading cargo shipment 782. It's on board. Please come and join me. Together we can stop this hive mind. We can end this nightmare, at last! Alright, let's go save the day. Over here. Obviously, There's nothing no is going to go wrong. I needed you. Sorry, Isaac. I couldn't let him go through with it. I suppose I should thank you for finding the marker. We even managed without. Oh help no! You the Curse your sudden but thank inevitable you betrayal. Him, by the way. My department's been looking for this place for a long time. See what kind didn't know us? It was the government's mess to begin with. This whole planet is one big experiment. The marker. This. <laughs> Divine relic made by man. They reverse engineered it a couple of hundred years ago from the real marker, a true alien artifact recovered on Earth. They dug it up, studied it, and they made it their own. Then they brought it to Aegis 7 and activated it. And you've seen the result the stuff of nightmares. They sealed the system, and no one would have been the wiser. But then the CEC blunders in and starts tearing the planet apart. 
the experiment was still alive. Kind was right about the hive mind. The marker would contain it, but that doesn't matter now, does it? I have the marker, and this entire system can go to hell. For what it's worth, you did a great job, Isaac. See you around. Or maybe not. <laughs> Isaac, Nicole, I need you to help me. Help us, now. I'm, I'm in the flight control room. Please, Isaac, hurry, please. All right, so hope is not entirely lost. Well, I suppose that uh, that fate was inevitable for you, sir. As is in most space horror, anyway. If you're in a space horror story of any kind, you probably will not survive. Let's try out the secondary fire just to see how decent it is on, a, on an actual monster. Maybe it actually is pretty decent and I just haven't tried it out yet. Not bad. Uh, let's switch to the, um, yeah, let's switch to the line gun to deal with these guys. I might start selling stacks of plasma energy, only because of how little I use it these days. Should I use up one of these metal... Yeah, let's use one. Top ourselves off. And where are we going? Are we just going... to wherever this is? Sorry, I'm so sorry for what I did. I never wanted to hurt you. You need to get it back now, Isaac. You can pilot the shuttle remotely from here. <sighs> Make us whole again. Make us whole again. Nope, oh, we're in standby. Excuse me? You wanted me to pilot the shuttle remotely? Isaac, what the hell are you doing? You're making a big mistake. This is not over. Escape pod away, crew shuttle USG-09. Repeat, shuttle has ejected escape pod. It doesn't matter. She can't escape her fate. None of us can. Here it comes. I'll reprogram the shuttle so we can fly down to the colony. God, we're so close, Isaac. Now go, get on the shuttle. I'll meet you there. Save game? Or are we still in standby? Is this just a save point that never gets used because of perpetual standbyness? Because of Nicole's presence? I guess so. All right, let's get out of here.
I see if we have to deal with um See if we have to deal with the uh, the government agent. Like she's not a unitologist; she's apparently working for the government, so to speak. And I suppose if you're going to test out a dangerous weapon, you might as well do it on a distant, like in a distant galactic system. You don't do it on Earth. You're doing the right thing, Isaac. We're together now. The way it always should have been. I knew you'd come back for me. Nothing could stop us now. On to the finale. No longer on the Ishimura. We are now on land. Land ho on a dying planet. Use one of the loaders to get the marker off the shuttle. All right, more of this ritual sacrifice. I think I'm going to stop here for the night, though. Got any suggestions? Isaac, the marker needs to be returned to the pedestal chamber. Use the loader to bring it there and place it on the pedestal. Replace what was taken and make us whole again. Got any suggestions for someone to play next? Leave them down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have yourselves a good night.